Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking on more Phoenix Knights. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Now the last episode, a lot of jokes went over my head, and I definitely appreciate you guys leaving me comments below, explaining all the jokes and stuff that I missed. And as you guys said, this, the show is going to continue to get better like all shows. You can't just judge off the first um, episode. Like most of the shows I've watched, they, can, they you know, they gradually better and better and better. Hopefully that's the case with this one. I've, got, I've received a lot of messages about how this show isn't like other shows that the jokes are never going to catch on. Like they're going to, they're so regional and they're so based in and old school pop culture like from that timeline that there's no way I can get it is what people are telling so hopefully that's not the case hopefully it's just similar to like every show where like the first episode isn't always the strongest all this a lot of stuff went over my head I didn't really get it but like I said I don't judge a show based off the first episode it's not fair to do that you know yeah man that is it let's just go ahead and jump into this folks and we'll talk about it more in the end in £33. So, to take you on the, I'll uh, leave you in the very capable hands, your brand new resident DJ, Mr. Raven! Yeah. Raven! Look at that rock music for these old people. <laughs> Poor old people. Let's <laughs> scare the shit out of him. I thought he was gonna kill him when he heard he killed old girl. The dude did. Oh my god, he can't be dead. Damn. He can't be dead. Who's going to do the bloody door now? Captain. Who's going to do the door? Come on, Captain. I'm <laughs> sure he can't hear you. It's one of the conditions. He's going to do the door. Yeah, this is all they can serve. I've seen hundreds of me used to bag up Why? in Nam. Why? Because in here's murder. Next door is natural causes. Go on, uh, stick him in there. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 freaked out about some dentures. Dog. I don't want what the dog. Get it put down. Cold blooded. Death Tony died yesterday. Uh, 56. That's no age. I'm going to get rid of him. I'm, I'm going to sack him. Oh, hey, can't do that. That was Tracy's mistake. She ended up in a wheelie bin. And her head did. Who do you respect, ladies and gentlemen, dude. for the captain? The captain. The captain. <laughs> Who's still drinking out of that vase? Hey, nothing gets past these. Uh, Did they just steal that TV? Oh, they're just moving to another room or something. I think they just stole it. Just let me get this straight again. Two lads walk in off the street and take the television, and you did what? nothing. We were wearing overalls. <laughs> oh, overalls! Oh, well, excuse me then. Overalls. Oh, well. That was Jesus H. That was a, a brand new set, that. Oh, I've got a deformed snooker table, a Nazi bandit that pays out in Deutschmarks, and a flavoured condom machine that's ten years out to date. And? And, would you suck a ten year old banana? No. <laughs> no, neither will they. I I'll have to get my papers together. You'll get nothing except your ass down here today for this snooker oh, table. Nice. Your it's funny how it used to happen when, I, when I used to work at Walmart to too. Go. Somebody come in in like a Walmart vest to go into the back room You're and steal stuff. Machine. And nobody I had question it. them. He's moving slow as shit. Just know though that he's off. Roland 2! Let's hear it for Albert! Albert's a registered diabetic. Come on, I draw the line at lynching. <laughs> You're not going bald, not me. I've lost most of my hair worrying about yours. This <laughs> dude just do his hair. What's she doing now? <laughs> what do you think? You look bored as shit. There is a horse in my cabaret suite. I know he's brilliant, isn't he? 
Is it real? <laughs> it's amazing. Thick set. He loves wearing them, Connery. Never seen ever again. That or another. Can't get enough. That's the best thing to do to shave his hair. Check it out. Oh my god, this dude is terrible. <laughs> It doesn't matter, it's all okay for DJ Ray. Come on. Who's judging? Rayvon. Oh, He's down on people crazy. Don't give him a gun, we'll be knee deep in bodies. <laughs> the Humper in October. Stick him in the pen line, sweet, you'll never know. What is this horse gonna do? Piss and shit everywhere and break a bunch of stuff? Illegal draw! Ray? Yeah! Like shit! She was late. He was off by like a second. Oh shit. Um. Fire! And next up for the Keeping Confederates, we've got Georgia Jed. What is he? Where's Georgia Jed? Get in a kebab. So, Jed, what do you want to be when you grow up? Taller. Taller. <laughs> no, because he was born on the cusp of Leo and Capricorn, which makes him a leprechaun, if I'm right. Am I right? He's you get pissing them off. Oh, 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 shit. What's he doing? Kenny, pull it off. You know what? <laughs> I'm not pulling off a horse. We've not got a license for this. Gross. Kenny, get them up. You better get in there. In the saloon, oh, right. he picks the chair up, yeah. the bloke ducks, he chucks it straight through the window. Fine, yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. Well, you. he's in there, and he's pissed out of his mind, and he's got a corporate in Torquay tomorrow. We'll have to go back on the wagon. Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> the key away. Oh, we finished. <laughs> Here's Need your keys. <laughs> what? Next. Oh fuck! <laughs> this is all, I wonder if it always ends you know, with them trying to find new talent. Is that how it always goes? See, man, the episode was much better than the first one. I can't think of anything that like went over my head. Any like special like regional jokes or, or pop culture jokes? I got the majority of of the jokes in this episode. If I miss one, if something just went over my head because I wasn't paying attention and you saw that I missed it, just go ahead and comment it below. But I don't really feel like I missed anything. I can't think of anything he said that I didn't get. You know. Even when they did the whole the two sides, the only thing I didn't know was like the history between the two sides who were like going against each other in a little battle, like uh, with the little gunfights and stuff like that. But I could tell that he was rigging it, and he was most likely picking whatever side of town he was from. So, but that, that was easily I don't really need to know the history of why those two sides don't like each other. It's just a uh, a guy rigging the game for the side that he's rooting for, or maybe the side that he's from. Oh boy, the the oh my god, I can't think of his name. Uh, even though they said it a couple times, he's one who plays Jeff on Peep Show. Like him when he kept on scratching a record and talking too much. I'm like, that's the most annoying thing in the world. Any DJ that needs to keep talking instead of playing music is a terrible DJ. Um, and even like scratching records and not knowing how to read a room and play the music for a particular room. Man. And the part when she was saying about the jumpsuit, like he was wearing a jump jumpsuit so we thought it was legitimate. That stuff happened when I used to work for Walmart, man. So what was happening was these dudes had this little thing going on where they're coming in rocking like a Walmart vest. And they'll pretend like they're stocking vendor stock. But he'll, they'll walk in with their own dollies and they'll load up a bunch of Red Bull and just go out the front door. 
or it was at one point people were ordering like vendor shirts like Pepsi, Red Bull, stuff like that, and they'll pretend like they're vendors. So even worse, because vendors was coming to back and sign in, and then you're issued a vendor badge. Some people would just come in, and the same thing, they'll come in with a dolly, come to the back room, steal a bunch of Pepsi, Coke, or Red Bull products and walk out the front door Does somebody just wearing like overalls or a vest or like a, a brand uniform it works especially if you just just confident you act like you own it come in and grab it man it was crazy it's crazy thing but that's what it made me think about when she was she was like he was wearing overalls like yeah that does work look like you know what you do look like you're supposed to be there and walk away like you own it and have confidence and you can get away with a whole lot it's freaking wild man all right guys man that is it that is all for this one i enjoyed this episode so hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy and if i miss anything make sure you guys tell me below later